What's up, everybody? I'm Michael Allen, and this is The Movie Minute. This episode on The Movie Minute, we're going to be talking about The Little Mermaid. Yes, Disney's new remake. All right, so let's talk about The Little Mermaid, the live-action remake that Disney continues to keep making these movies that I think feel like no one really wants. Everybody knows what the movie's about. So everyone knows that this movie is about Ariel, who is living in the ocean as a mermaid. She wants to be a human. Everybody knows the classic Disney story. So let's talk about what the film did well. First of all, I mean, I know there's so much stuff surrounding this movie, so much controversy. Uh, and I just wanna say, like Halle Bailey, I mean, she did an amazing job, she really did. And honestly, David Diggs stole the show. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about Sebastian later, but from like an acting, voice acting standpoint, he was amazing, he was so good. It's just one of those things where you're like, man, Sebastian, the original film is so iconic that you can't really imagine someone else doing it, but he nailed it, he freaking nailed it, guys. Everyone really did Overall, a great job. Javier Bardem was great as King Triton. <sighs> yeah, Melissa McCarthy as Ursula. Holy smokes. I mean, like, she was great as well. I mean, she just had that menacing feel. She nailed the voice. So all of these elements that they did with the cast, it was spot on. I mean, they really did a good job at casting overall. Also, I think one thing that I really liked is with these live action remakes that Disney's doing, there are some that are definitely set apart. And I can just opinion, my my opinion, I can say like, I thought Aladdin was definitely a little bit better. I thought Beauty and the Beast was better. And there's a very specific reason why I think they're better is because they understand that they don't have to exactly be the original, that they knew I we should make some changes, maybe add some songs, maybe take away some songs. And so, those in the movies really, I think, set themselves apart, which is actually a positive thing. And this movie does that. I mean, it added a song, actually added two songs, I think. And as much as I didn't love the song, it definitely gave some more depth to the characters. And it set itself apart from the original in a good way, like kind of stating, hey, this is a little different. The culture of the movie was so good. I loved this island kind of Jamaican culture. It was great. They really nailed it. And it really set itself apart from the original to give it a little bit of a unique flair. What I didn't like about the film, there were several things. Some of the songs, the renditions of the songs just did not land well with me. Also, the script was a little bit clunky, like the pace of how it moved. It just, there were definitely times where I felt a little bored and kind of checked my watch. Anytime I check my watch in a movie theater, it's an immediate sign to me that the movie's pacing is off. Also, I know so many people love her, but Aquafina was just not good. I, and they added one of her songs as a, they added a song for Scuttle and it, there was parts of it that I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, but oh, yeah. her voice is very iconic. And so it's really hard even to separate like the character, like it's hard for me to see a character and like engage with that character. It just feels like I'm like, that's, Aquafina with a bird face. Like, it's not like, oh, that's Scuttle. From an entertainment factor, I'd probably give it a solid seven. I really had fun overall. And uh, David Diggs obviously really played a huge role in that. Like, I can't voice that enough of how well David Diggs did as Sebastian. From a critical factor, I mean, I'd probably give it a six. Like, better of the Disney movies, they don't really need to make these movies. So six out of 10, I mean, it's like, you know, yeah, that probably feels about right. Overall, I did enjoy it. I do think it's a really fun experience to take your family. It's a new vision for it. I mean, it's just fun. So I will give this film a popcorn bucket just because I think from a family perspective, it's it's a good experience. Like I'm gonna take my girls probably to see this movie because it's worth the theater cost to kind of see them 
experience this movie on screen. Um, I'm such a Disney guy. I'm a huge Disney fanboy. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments about these live action Disney remakes. Let me know if you think that they should be making them, if they shouldn't, and maybe some of your thoughts on that. Do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Would love to have you guys along this journey with me. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out.